Go. Hi, I'm joined by Alan Dowson after today's 4-1 defeat at Willstone. Um, Alan, the game changer was in the 20th minute or so when uh, Ian Gale got a red card. Uh, what's your take on that? It's a mistake, isn't it? Like, I, I, you see about Gale, you know, he, he's done alright for a really, hasn't he? You know, whatever you take, he makes a mistake, it comes to something. Um, we were excellent for that 25 minute spell, weren't we? We were fantastic, you know, got on top of the game and doing very well. Then the lad gets behind him. Um, he doesn't know he's there, he's made a little tap and made a mistake and as he took the lad back, it looks as though he has, um, and that's him off, so uh, gone down to 10 men and it's a hard time to go, it's a 20 odd minutes here to be honest, you know, but um, up till half time I was delighted how the lad's done because of the scan, so, like, we've had the, the last three games, a lot of decisions on penalties that Lua stuffed, the penalty last week, now the offside there when the Langtons put his flag up and put it back down again, that doesn't happen, that doesn't that does not happen. You can't put your flag up and put it back down again. Um, so um, that's possible. But um, there you go. That's what, uh, that's what happens. And uh, disappointing. But it is a tough place to come play 70 minutes with 10 men. Um, just a mistake again. We keep saying it with mistakes. And um, all the, the three goals we conceded with 10 men would have happened if we had had 11. That's the thing I think. And if I can see if that Simon Hooker was my best doubt, doubt defender idea before he got injured off. And at the end, we just ran out of legs and options. It could have went, if it would have went on, it would have been five, six, seven because the options we had to change with Hooker getting injured as well. And it was like it was pointless at the end. It was a game over then. But to get yourself back in the game, concede the goals we conceded with Jolly would have happened with 11 men. A mistake by him left Maga would have happened to 11 men. The one where we got done way, not picking up the wide areas and crossed in, and one of the midfield players beats main and scores. That would have happened with 11 men, so uh, yeah, that's what it is, you know. Uh, you, you mentioned uh, a few iffy refereeing decisions, but, but do you think uh, Sanko was lucky to not not get some uh, punishment? Yeah, well, I think Gordon thought it was worse than what it was, to be honest. Um, and um, I don't think it was that bad, to tell you the truth. I, I, I thought he, he went for a ball. I know my players, he knows his players, I know mine. Um, he went for a ball, he's, he's just a bit, a bit, a lad got straight back up and got on with it. Um, Huckle never got straight back up and on with it. Um, he's in a bad way, I think, to be honest. I think he's not a sort of lad to go down and um, things like that. So he, um, so, uh, you know, that's what I mean, we all get a bit excited. But apparently, a couple of weeks ago, um, their keeper broke his leg in a collision and all that, you know, and I think they were just worried about that, to be honest. I think it was some shocking decisions by the ref and linesman. And on the way off there, he says, I've made a couple of mistakes, and he says that um, that's why we're not in the Premiership, and it's probably right, and um, uh, that's why we're not. We're, it has cost we're for that goal, the first goal, and getting back to 1 1 um, and battling back to 1 1 was great, but um, at least I see about uh, me back three or back four, the uh, uh, rest of it, uh, the best, you know, that's not, not so much to be honest. I was going to come on to Simon Huckle towards the end, but obviously brought him up a couple of times. Uh, it, it seemed there was some very real concern when he went down. Uh, yep. the, play, the game was stopped straight away before, it wasn't a foul, but the game was stopped immediately. Yep. What is, have you got any kind of early... No, he's going for next year now. I wouldn't be surprised if it's quite bad to be honest, because um, he ain't the sort of lad to go down. I've had him for seven years at two different clubs. And then what you see is what you get off him. At times you drop him, at other times he's fantastic. But one thing he's not, he's not a cheat. And one thing he's not, he, he ain't a bot, um, bot line. If he's struggling, he's struggling. So uh, the truth of the matter is, if he's down, he's got pain. As simple as that. Ask about one or two other players I've got. I wouldn't have said that, but I've got a hand on heart. If he's struggling, he'd not be fit on Monday or to the rest of the season because he'd be struggling massively. Last time he went down, he had snapped his arm in two. Um, this time, I wouldn't be surprised if it's quite bad. Possibly he'll go and have a checkup now. Hopefully it's just the ligaments or whatever. Hopefully, um, but. The truth of the matter is, he's injured because he doesn't go down any other way like now. Um, definite penalty on Alan Tate to get us yep. back in the game, which uh, Bobby Trainer put away quite easily. Yep. Did you think that we could uh, get back into it properly then, or we're did we have or, another gear? I, up, no, up to that point, we were in the game. We were in the game up to that point. We were um, massively in the game first half, especially like you know, had some half chances, and in the second half of like you know, might, but once uh, I think once you get yourself back in the game with ten men, you're on top. You think again, that's a break we need. To concede a goal where my three centre halves have got to make mark two of their players, and to concede a goal where Jolly, and when Jolly went clean through, you don't expect anything else, you wouldn't expect anything, you just, it, that was the sloppiest goal, and to concede the goals we conceded in that the minute, um, I think that just killed it, to be honest. Then, when Huckle went down, that was really it, because what, what more do we do? Playing like a, you know, we we'll change the formation to try to keep, you know, try to get another man up there to 23 1. And when Hooker goes down like that, you, you kind of change nothing. All my subs are on, you've tried to battle away. And to be fair, it was, again, it wasn't a lack of effort, it wasn't a lack of effort, but, um, and, um, you know, I, I we've got, it was just disappointing how it is. Like, but we'll, we'll be okay, um, we'll be alright. Like from now on, after Monday's game, Hamzio, um, and I'll be saying something more, and, um, 
and um, Adrian with us like you know I don't want them coming to games like, oh, they're going to go out scouting for her and all that you know and stuff like that and actually if you look the deer and you look at the sides we beat with and even look the deer we go down to, we go down to 10 minute lure stuff did we have that no I want to go and they are four five we didn't um, and the deer to be honest like you know it's just a strength again like you know a bit of strength in areas and you know but listen everybody's on, out of contract in the summer um, I think everybody knows that we need to make changes there's no point in me doing anything else well and keep my mouth shut and keep me targets to myself but knowing that I'll get a better side than what I've got this year that's the only guarantee I'll make like you know uh, when we were 2-1 down quickly to 3-1 down 4-1 yep. down uh, were you hoping for the final whistle and, and, and what do you say to the players when you, you come off the pitch with that kind of a, an atmosphere I was a bit totally support as well I've got to mention them again we were different gear singing my name bloody hell after getting beef not many, many managers will happen to them um, in the Raymond League and even at the end they're just singing um, I were them to be honest I were support as I do um, so uh, that's what I'm I've put some plans out to play as what we intend to do with me chairman and we've put some plans into gear what we want to really kick the club on like you know um, at the end of the game I kind of say no, what can I say I can't go through the mistakes we're making because we've been making them all season I can't go along about the chances we've been missing because we've been missing chances all season referee decisions I'll accept that for the last three games that have been cost we're, but how the hell can I go on the change from now at the end of the season to say listen these are the mistakes we're making when we've been conceding another four away from home you might get beat two one with ten men, but you don't get beat by four. Um, even though how you know, so a lack, but it wasn't a lack of effort again. Um, just let's be honest, not we're not good enough as I say to be honest. The chance of top five, and that's down to me. And I'll make sure we are next season. Um, that's what I'll do. Um, but again, it's the support. That's the support. The support. It's great. But your question was, what did I say to them? What would you say to them? Bollock again, bite again. See, so don't give silly free kicks away again. See, so watch Jolly, which was a plan before the game again. Don't go too deep again. Chances we're missing again. You, you can't save them because I've said it. Um, I've said it all season. So I'm best off just letting it go. Us got his management got to get back together to have targets, and um, we've got to do the best we can on Monday. You know, and then obviously I would like to for the support as a winner cup, and it'll be for, it'll be for support as cup. And I'll give it to them at the end of the game. I would like to support as a winner cup for them, and that means winning on Thursday. That's what we'll have to do. You know. Uh, we'll stand. Uh, we've got a few games in hand, and uh, obviously you're in a bit of uh, confidence. At the moment, what do you make of their chances of making the playoffs? You've got a manager like him who's been here 20 years more than I have, like been in the game 20 odd years more than I have. You learn five people, and he's always give good advice, to be honest. And how he does the club is great. Yes, they've got a couple of idiots crowd wise. I think. And yes, I believe the last time one of their physio fellas said I should be sacked, one of their physios on the bench, which is probably unheard of. But um, it's for some busy bloke or whatever. But um, Gordon wouldn't say that. I thought he was wrong to shout out um, the Shahidi so differently. I did, to be honest. But um, he's an experienced manager. And, um, if you organise like he is and he's got players like he is, it will be as good as anybody up there. And um, maybe in the past, the cup runs are costing, not charging. But with his um, head on his shoulders and knowledge about the game, I think everybody's got to learn from it, including myself, you know. Yeah. Um, leaving the London Cup aside for a minute, yeah. uh, what's the what's the aim for the league now? Does it make a difference um, to try and attract new players in in the close season? If you, the difference between no. finishing seventh and twelfth, I've um, I've got to talk at the players and. Um, if, if you want to know how many uh, at a minute I've got yet who I, I've got written down who I would like and uh, I will hit them as soon as the last game, the last day goes I'll hit them targets um, it makes the, the difference where we are because if I sit down one on one with a beer with them, a cup of coffee with them see if this is what I'm going to do next season and what the plan is I'm hopefully you can talk if you win um, and uh, to be honest I've said to a player earlier in the part on first night or whatever I said listen you've got to just try to prove a point that you want to be at the football club and that's all I'm asking the players to do so again we've learned a lot about Madea we'll learn a lot about Monday um, first years I say and we'll, we'll, change, we'll change a few faces and all that and say go on in. yeah we still some massively important all this all but the main thing is I want to get out of these next four games is actually think do I need to, do I keep him or do I not do I need, need him or I think I've said to one or two I wouldn't mind you keeping you next season I've got to make a change my mind. Of course, I have. Um, so I just got to make sure I want to. I want to get a club up and running. Um, and the mistakes I've made this year, I want to put them asleep and actually make a club um, felt to be in. Um, like the fans are again. Again, again I got to give great credit them singing all the time at the end of the game. It must, must have been a hugely disappointing season for them. Like I took bad early on, and it took us a while to get going again. We, we haven't really got no, got no doubt the cups, all the cups. The important cups quickly so it must have been a horrible season for them to be honest like, you know, and I've had calls on my head which I think is unfair to be honest I think it's the first season I haven't done nothing here and, and if we win a cup it might be something uh, whatever but yes I'll be planning to stay in the top 10 yes I knew you know, it's been a disappointing time but I'll tell you now and I, I said it a couple of years ago when I said I'll get the site to win the um, 
with South and we did do it I'll get a side uh, finishing the top five next season um, you watch and um, I'll do it I'll, I'll, that's what I'll do okay good stuff looking forward yeah. to that already okay. alright yeah, thanks good. for your time cheers no, next one cheers, cheers. cheers. Top. thank you mm -hmm. <coughs> red button